Systems that employ water chillers are commonly called chilled water systems. As its name suggests, this system makes use of water as its secondary refrigerant. Chiller is used to remove heat from the water which is then circulated through other components to absorb heat from the space. Chilled water air conditioning systems are commonly used in applications that need large cooling capacity such as hypermarket, industrial process, commercial air conditioning such as offices and factories. More and more homes are using this system to air condition their entire house because of its cost effectiveness and no hazard of having refrigerant piped all over the house. Chilled water air conditioning system In a chilled water system, the entire air conditioner is installed on the roof or behind the building. A water chiller cools water to between 40 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.4 and 7.2 degrees Celsius. The chilled water is then piped throughout the building and connected to air handlers. This can be a versatile system where the water pipes work like the evaporator coils in a standard air conditioner. If it's well insulated, there's no practical distance limitation to the length of a chilled water pipe. How it conditioned atmospheric air. A device that removes heat from a liquid via a vapor compression or absorption refrigeration cycle. This cooled liquid flows through pipes in a building and passes through coils in air handlers, fan coil units, or other systems, cooling and usually dehumidifying the air in the building. Chillers are of two types, air-cooled or water-cooled. Part of a water-chilled air cond. System. Water chiller. Parts of a water chiller. Evaporator. The evaporator works the opposite of the condenser. Here refrigerant liquid is converted to gas, absorbing heat from the air in the compartment. Fluid out. Fluid in. R in. R out. Compressor. The compressor compacts the refrigerant vapor and pumps it to the reversing valve. A equipment that converts a gas to a liquid to obtain either the substance or the released heat. Condenser. A. Air-cooled condenser. Condenser in which refrigerant flows through the tubes and rejects heat to air that is drawn across the tubes. B. Water-cooled condenser. Condenser that rejects the heat of the refrigerant to water flowing through it. For water-cooled condenser. Cooling towers are heat rejection devices used to transfer process waste heat to the atmosphere. Cooling towers may either use the evaporation of water to reject process heat and cool the working fluid to near the wet bulb air temperature or rely solely on air to cool the working fluid to near the dry bulb air temperature. A. Cooling tower. B. Condenser water pump unit. Is a set of device by using mechanical forces to move the condenser water. Expansion. Valve. A valve through which liquid or gas under pressure is allowed to expand to a lower pressure and greater volume. Other parts of a water chilled air cond. System. AHU, an air handler, or air handling unit often abbreviated to AHU, is a device used to condition and circulate air as part of HVAC system. Usually, an air handler is a large metal box containing a blower, heating and or cooling elements, filter racks or chambers, sound attenuators, and dampers. Air handlers usually connect to ductwork that distributes the conditioned air through the building, and returns it to the AHU. Fan coil unit. Unit, FCU, a small terminal unit that is often composed of only a blower and a heating and or cooling coil, heat exchanger, as is often used in hotels, condominiums, or apartments. Expansion tank. A component of a closed piping system that accommodates the expansion and contraction of the water as temperature and, therefore, density, changes. Fig 1. 1 Assembly Diagram. Warm water from the AHU enters the chiller. The chiller chilled the water then proceed in CWP unit. CWP unit pump the chilled water back to the AHU. The chiller is being cooled by the cooling tower. Fig 2. Refrigerant flow diagram. The water from the cooling tower cools the refrigerant. The refrigerant was controlled in the expansion valve and returned to the evaporator. Refrigerant enters the compressor then proceeds in the condenser. Chilled water leaves the evaporator. 
The refrigerant chills the water by absorbing its heat. Warm water enters the evaporator. Fig 3. 3 Supply air and return air flow. The evaporator cools water to about 45. Dot that chilled water is pumped to cooling coils in the areas being cooled, and a fan draws the air in those areas through the chilled water coils, cooling the air. In comparison, with standard air conditioning, the evaporator coil directly cools the air. The refrigerant flows all the way to the air handlers in the areas being cooled, and a fan draws the air in those areas through the evaporator coils, cooling the air. With chilled water air conditioning, the compressor is usually mounted on a rack or frame, within a few feet of the evaporator that cools the chilled water. If the condenser is water-cooled, it's usually mounted on the same rack. If the condenser is air-cooled, it will be installed outside the building. Advantages of chilled water aircon System One advantage of Advantage of chilled water air conditioning is that if the chilled water piping leaks somewhere in the building, only water is lost, and repairs only require plumbing work. In comparison, with standard air conditioning, a leak in a refrigerant line inside the building will probably require brushing, leak testing with nitrogen, evacuation of the system, and recharging with a refrigerant that is a lot more expensive than water. Another advantage of chilled water air conditioning is that if air stops flowing through the cooling coil, the chilled water will simply return to the chiller. Since the water will not have picked up any heat, it will still be cold, and the chiller will respond by unloading and turning off. With standard air conditioning, if air stops flowing through the cooling coil, there is a possibility that liquid refrigerant will return to the compressor and damage it.